In this screencast I'll show you how to change the feedback options for your Brightspace quiz. So we're going to click on this example quiz here and in order to change what the students see after they've taken the quiz we need to click on this tab here, Submission Views. Um, there's a default view that we can edit and that's got some options within there. So they're just shown here and we can change these ones or if we come out of here we can actually add another view. So click add additional view, call this one feedback and then there are various options. We can restrict uh, when this can be viewed until so we can set a time. We can restrict it to the IP address for which the quiz was taken. We can limit it to a particular attempt or we can restrict it by a minimum or maximum score. We can also limit the amount of time for which this view is available. Um, where it gets really interesting is in the view details. If we click yes to show in the questions and we show all questions with a user response then that will allow uh, them to see the questions along with their response and we can also show the question answers which will mean that they will be able to see the feedback or, or any additional information that's given for a question. We can also opt or opt in or opt out of showing the, the score per question and the overall score. We can also add some statistics based on how the class has been doing. So if we click save here We've now got this additional view available. Click save and close. And if I click preview on this quiz, we'll be able to see what the students will see. So I'm going to click to start the quiz. I'm going to answer the question, submit the quiz. And now we can see that we can view some feedback and there's some additional information there within this question just to try and reinforce the learning that this question might have been testing. Okay, so that has been a screencast to show you how you can edit the feedback options in your Brightspace quiz.